Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be discussing what do frogs and toads mean in a dream. So frogs are not going to be a good thing in a dream typically. They're going to be a representation of the spirit of lust or uh, a, a demonic spirit. Deal, specifically dealing with lies and so when you look at the book of Revelation 16 it talks about out of the mouth of the false prophet comes spirits unclean spirits like frogs and so anytime you are having a dream and it's a uh, uh, frogs are involved it's going to be a representation like I said of either lust or its goal overall goal is destruction so like in even in uh, Exodus when one of the plagues of judgment that uh, the Egyptians had experienced was the plagues of the frogs. And so, uh, and also in Psalms, uh, I think it was uh, 78, where David talks about um, frogs as well. And it has to deal with destruction and um, just perversion overall. And one, thing's, one thing about frogs is they are able to live in different climates. They are able to adapt. So that uh, characteristic about them is telling because specifically when you're dreaming about our dream uh, a frog or toad appears in your dream it's a self -condi condition of your soul or soul issue so they can live in a home they can live in chambers they can hide in little places they can get into the little parts of our life right so that's a representation of the soul soulish issues things of the soul um, chambers and rooms meaning and leaning towards our inmost parts, the deep parts within us. So the spirit of lust, witchcraft, or an alluring, uh, seductive spirit, something trying to entice you um, or get in. So now, you're going to want to pay attention to the type of frog too. So, because there's different types of frogs and toads. Now, if you're having a dream, like for instance, I had a dream about a... Uh, me and my cousin were in the restroom, and I did a video on restrooms. I'll link it in the uh, description below if you don't know, understand what restrooms mean. But we're in the restroom, and we're cleaning the restroom. I was helping her clean the restroom while I was doing most of the work. And when I got to the shower, I looked, and there was a little toe, a little green tree frog in the shower. And I was like, how did you even get in here? And I was looking, and I said to my cousin, I said, how did this get in here? And she was like, I don't know. And so I was like... I didn't even know what to do with that. I was like, why are you even in here? I was like, do I just take it and capture it? Or, you know, and then so I was kind of trying to figure out what to do in the dream with the little frog that I found in the shower. And so I just cleaned, uh, I was, I just kept cleaning. And I decided I would remove it. I would capture it and remove it from the restroom. So what does that mean? Well, a tree frog where do they live primarily in rainy climates, but in trees? They live in trees. So a tree is going to represent either leadership, but in this context, it was representing a family tree. So this issue, remember I said frogs represent lust or some kind of de demonic issue um, of darkness. So the issue of lust was in my, uh, was was something that needed to be dealt with because it was a restroom. Restrooms is where you get rid of toxins. It's where you clean and flush. So there was an issue of lust that needed to be cleaned out specifically in my family tree because it was a tree frog so it was attached to my family tree my bloodline that needed to be dealt with and my cousin didn't get deal with it but I had to deal with it so she didn't clean I was doing most of the cleaning so I was the one who had to deal with it capture it and uh, remove it from the area and, and flush it out basically so the Lord was showing me in that dream that there was issues in my bloodline specifically pertaining to lust that needed to be dealt with and that I had to take care of and I couldn't rely on anyone else to do it he wanted me to do it so like I said the type of frog is important so if it's a like I said tree frog or a dart a dart frog dart frogs are poisonous so if it's a dart frog that's going to allude to something that is deadly they're very deadly and quick so if it's a toad um, and there's a difference between toads and frogs even though they're both amphibians toads live on the land well what is the land it's dirt right so if it's a toad, it's going to allude to um, the soul or the carnal man, soulish issues, um, fleshly issues. So dealing with the carnal man. And if it's a frog, it's going to be more so of the spiritual issue. So they live in water 
and they live, uh, you know, Holy Spirit is a representation of water. Water can represent spiritual things. So, and going in deeper into spiritual things. So, because frogs live on water, that could be a representation of, like I said, the spirit, spirit man and issues and conditions of the spirit that need to be dealt with. Whereas toads are going to be more flesh, uh, maybe even physical lush issues someone may be having, um, or ca the carnal man. So, you're going to look at the details of what kind of frog it is, the color of the frog. Um, and the other elements that will help you unpack that as well. But that is typically what frogs mean in a dream. And yeah, if you have any questions or if you had dreams about frogs, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And uh, if I get a lot of questions pertaining the same or around the same topics, um, or it, I will go ahead and make a video about it. So anyhow, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this was very helpful to you. And if you know someone who has a lot of dreams and they want more understanding or they want to know how to interpret their dreams, because that's the ultimate goal. We want to, I want to teach you how to interpret your dreams and lean on the Holy Spirit uh, and seek Him so you can have revelation and even help others. So go ahead and share as well. I would greatly appreciate that. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Be healed, be, be whole, be free. Bye.